hello everyone it is the worst weather outside so i'm sorry if you can hear rain and things like that i guess it's kind of relaxing it is literally like night time i've got as many lights on as i can find so yeah maybe the lighting is not gonna be the best today i really want to do some kind of really fresh blushed look i remember talking in my last video about the look that i seen kylie do a lot on the kylie cosmetics page this kind of look right here where it's just super blushed and glowy and glossy and just pretty so i think we're gonna kind of recreate something like that today except i'll probably do some lashes and like i don't know if we'll do eyeliner or something but just make it a little bit more dramatic because that's just what i feel like doing today but taking a bit of inspiration from that and i do have the collection as well to try and i've also got heaps of other new stuff to try so it's just a bit of a first impression video today i really wanted to curl my hair today but i'm just yeah so behind hamish is taking care of porter but um I've already spent so long messing around this morning doing dishes. I fake tanned, which, you know, I used my Exo Beauty Self Tanning Foam. This is vegan too. I haven't even showered today yet. I was like, that can wait till later. You know, priorities right now. I just wanted to keep filming. And I think I'm going to film a Q&A today, which I'm pr probably going to put up the... Ugh, I can't talk. I'm probably going to put up before this video. So if you've not watched the Q&A yet, I'll link it down below. I'm getting my nails done on Friday because look how growing out they are. It's so funny. And my cuticles are so messed up from washing my hands and doing so many dishes and sanitizing my hands like four times as often as normal because like, you know, every time I change the baby and so many dishes. Ah, oh, I hate doing dishes. I'm going to use one of my little samples I've got here for Exo Beauty to do my brows. So yeah, that's the plan today. Just something really pretty and blushy. Perfect for those of you overseas who actually have some nice weather at the moment. I cannot relate. Literally, it's like nighttime outside. Do you guys like the look of this product, by the way? Oh my god, I've got to like hair in my brush. Instant facelift. Literally my favorite thing. There's a couple of things I don't have new. Like I don't have a new foundation, but we'll figure that out. I've got new primer kind of ish products. I've got this too, which is like a serum by Trini London. It's the BFF De-Stress Tinted Serum in Lucy. I don't even know what color this is. Skincare serum with buildable coverage designed to be worn alone on top of BFF cream or with just a touch. I don't know what that is. Like I'm assuming you just put some foundation on top of it if you need some more coverage, right? Designed to instantly awaken tired looking skin. Oh my god, I need that literally. Like we've just gone through Porter's first leap, I think. Um, there was a couple of days there. That was so rough. Literally, I don't feel like I stopped crying, like, ever. I was so exhausted and just stressed and, oh, it was rough. Obviously rough for Porter. He's a little baby. He doesn't know what's happening and he doesn't know where he is. And he's developing and then, you know, they have these leaps and it's all hectic for everyone involved. Hamish was like, oh my god, it was just crazy and... I've got the battle scars, okay? Well, not scars, but you know, like, oh my god, I'm so puffy. But he's been a dream, like, yesterday and this morning. Like, he's perfect. So hopefully this works. It's supposed to defend and protect the skin from daily life stress, such as tiredness and tension. Oh my god. Hyaluronic acid plumps and smooths. Let's give it a go, shall we? Hopefully the colour's alright, but I might just put some foundation on top of it and kind of use it like a base. I don't know. Ooh, the packaging reminds me of, like, Elizabeth Arden or something, is it? I'm sure I had like a tinted sunscreen from Elizabeth Arden and packaging similar to this. Okay, straight away, it doesn't look like a tinted serum, like it looks like a foundation. Probably shouldn't use a sponge to blend this. Like, you know, tinted serum makes me think fingers, but I've already got my sponge here. Mmm, it smells really good. Fruity or something? I don't know, it smells like a smoothie. I'm not going to put too much under my eyes because I do have a new Bobbi Brown corrector we're going to try next. What the heck, that looks so good. I was not expecting that. The color seems to be pretty good. Like it looks like it'd be really pink and light when I first like pop it on, but it just kind of adapts to the skin and it does blend out to be super sheer like a serum. It's so buzzy. Like it feels like juicy, like really, really moisturizing. I don't think I have a new powder, so maybe today I'll just use like a fuller coverage powder and just like add some coverage where I need it because I think it looks so pretty. I really love the glow it gives as well. I'm taking some more on my sponge and just popping a little bit down at my neck. I like this. I like it a lot. Yes, yeah, it's on here to use fingertips, but whatever. All right, so from Bobbi Brown, I got sent this corrector stick in bisque. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, looks like the perfect salmon kind of color, which as you guys may know, helps to correct those dark under eyes. Let's just do one side, shall we? So we can really see the difference. 
I feel like you could wear that alone. Like it doesn't look crazy. You know, some characters like look very colorful. That's a very wearable shade. I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend it out. It feels really creamy, but not thick creamy, just like lightweight creamy. So it's kind of what you want in a corrector. You don't want it to be too thick because like usually you're putting something on top of it and you don't want like a lot of thick layers around that under eye area. So thin and pigmented is the way to go. And I feel like that definitely fits the assignment. They look so much better. Like you can instantly see that difference. If I zoom in, look at the difference. Huge. Straight away, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> and then we have the Skin Concealer Stick in Warm Ivory, which looks like it must be the same kind of formula. I don't know, it looks the exact same. I'm just gonna go straight on top. This is much more yellowy, which is kind of typically what I would go for, I guess. I'm just gonna add a little bit down on my cheekbone kind of for some extra coverage. I think I might call this video makeup for tired, tired looking people. <laughs> I can't even like get my words out. I'm literally saying like the wrong thing. But what did I say before? Fits the assignment instead of understood the assignment. I don't even know, like I'm on another planet. I've been waiting days to be up to film. Like I've been itching to film, but I just have not had that energy, have not had the time, have not had a cooperative baby. <laughs> Cause I like to film when he's happy, you know what I mean? Like if he's having a rough day, I wanna be there for him and cuddle him and let him just kind of contact nap and stuff like that. Like, you know, but when he's feeling good and you know, happy around everyone, including Hamish. Like, obviously he loves Hamish, but you know, sometimes they just want their mum. Look at that difference. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm taking a photo of this. Oh my God, I look like my mum right now. What the hell? Oh my gosh, you can see it so well. I really like how tiny these are too. Like really small packaging. Like this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills new concealer, you know, like nice and compact. Probably quite good for like makeup artists and things I assume. But anyways, I'm just gonna add that corrector. I do like how the packagings look different too, so you can tell easily which one is which. I need to stop bleating on about this concealer, seriously. Am I filming? Oh my god, I thought I wasn't filming. My heart. Look, even just the corrector it just makes such a big difference. You know what? I'm just gonna use a little bit of it, this. It might be a bit too light, but we're gonna powder, so whatever. Just for some extra coverage. It blends out so nicely. I'd say the coverage is like medium, it's not super full. It's like a natural, natural kind of good amount of coverage. It's not sheer, but it's not cakey. Do you guys remember Bobbi Brown highlighters and the like chokehold they had on me for like two years? Oh my gosh, throwback. I'm feeling all sorts of nostalgic lately. I don't know why. It's like I'm getting old. Oh my God, I'm 30 soon. Am I 30 by the time you watch this? Probably almost. 12th of August. I'm actually going away to our beach house. Our first family trip with Porter. The dogs, Porter, Hamish and I, we're going away. I'm nervous. It's like a five hour drive, so I'm very nervous, but it's much needed. I just need to get out of this house and hopefully the weather's a little bit nicer up there. And yeah, just celebrate my 30th. I don't usually celebrate my birthday much and probably still won't really like celebrate hard out, you know what I mean? But just want to do something, you know? So I thought a change of scenery would be really good for all of us. And I'm just sitting under my eyes, just using a KKW powder, which you can't even get anymore. So no point linking it this time. I hope she does bring it back eventually. Someone said that, you know, cause she's not a West anymore, that she was kind of like redoing her whole range and everything and wanted to reintroduce makeup later. So I hope that's true and I hope she brings this back. Cause once again, see how this is that salmon kind of undertone, like they can see Look at my under eyes. Like where did those bags go? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Do I just need to create my own version of this? Because I just need it in my life like ASAP again. Look how much that blurs. And I'm using this detail face brush cause I love this under the eyes. This is my favorite like highlighter brush, but it's just so good to set under the eyes. It's such a good size and density. And it really just buffs those powders on so you don't get lots of like little floaty powders and dry areas, you know? Why am I so obsessed with my under eyes today? Okay, I have something here that I purchased. Because hello, your girl is Charlotte Tilbury Makeup's biggest fan. You guys know it's one of my favorite brands. And they brought out, hold on, I'm changing this lighting. They brought out this Beautiful Skin Sunkist Glow Bronzer for smoothing, healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face and body infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin D science. And okay, they're taking a leaf out of P. Louise's book and writing so much stuff. There's so many words. Anyway, I got the shade 2 medium and I was so nervous because hello, I don't like huge compacts like this because there's just a mess to travel with. They're a meta pack, they're a meta store. They don't 
fit nicely in my drawer with all my other cute little onesies, but it's Charlotte Tilbury. And you guys know I've been loving the Colourpop ones that are huge, so maybe I'm a changed woman. Why am I so picky about the size of a bronzer? Don't ask me. Wow, the packaging's so cool. Look at that. And it says here that it's supposed to make your skin look smoother, more hydrated. Uh, oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. Is it a cream bronzer? Cream bronzer, but it doesn't really look creamy when you look at it. It looks almost like, I don't know, a powder slash moussey kind of texture. It's very different. I'll use my little fancy brush again that I've just been using lately. Like, I can't even see where I'm touching it really. It like holds its shape, but I think it's on there because look, you can kind of see it looks kind of wettish. Oh, I love the color. I purposefully got a darker shade because you guys know I love like quite orangey darker bronzers. Look, I probably have too much on that side with my brush. I think I took too much product. It's deceiving. Like it doesn't look like you're picking up much, but you do. This side looks much better with that amount of product, but it's okay, we'll just blend it out goes really far as well like it's still going so I'll just work at the side I'm just kind of like putting it where I would contour up on my temples I kind of forgot that I was recreating this kind of like it looks like she's got a bit of bronzer on but it's very much blush so we won't go overboard with the bronzer today but I just love bronzer it's one of my favorite makeup steps of course I'm gonna put some down my nose straight over the top I just like fixed my inner corner because I had like a friggin' eye booger and now I've like ruined everything. Okay, wait, no. We're good. I just needed to set it. <laughs> Alright, so first impression on it, the bronzer. I like it. It's not like my favourite. I think I still like the ABH one better, but I like the texture. It's like literally almost like a powder, but it's not. It's a like cream, but it feels like powder almost when you apply it. It's buzzy. So there's four of these glow balms by Kylie. So which one are we gonna try? I'll just show you each one. Packaging so cool. This is off the clock. This is just like a transparent looking glow balm. Next up, this one's real pretty. This one is called Feelings Neutral. I love the look of that one. I think that would look really nice. Oh, this one's stunning. This is doing the most. It's like a coral kind of color that would look really pretty but I feel like in my last tutorial we did very you know corally kind of tones and then the last one we have pink me up which is also so pretty oh I can't decide I feel like maybe this one would look really cute today doesn't say how to apply it I might just go with that same brush maybe or maybe a detail face brush bake so beauty I'm just gonna kind of stipple it on and just like tap it out Ooh, okay it's definitely very balmy like the texture so we're doing quite a dramatic shape, I guess. Over that cheekbone, we're gonna brush it up towards our temples afterwards as well. This blends on so easy. Pulling it up onto that temple slightly. I don't wanna go too overboard. We just want that super glossy, like blushed effect. A little bit on the nose. I like the formula. It feels really nice. It feels lightweight. What does it feel like? It feels a little bit sticky. I wonder if it'll dry down a bit more. But anyway, the color is stunning. I love the color. It's so pretty. Oh my god, that's so bright. What the hell? Strawberry pink blush. Strawberry pink? I don't know about that. Okay, this is one of the new Benefit blushes in Krista. I don't spell it like that. And I'm going to put a little bit on. I'm curious. Literally, I'm going to take one tap. <laughs> this is an Exo Beauty bronzer brush. Because I just thought I might... I don't know, add a bit more because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> that would look so good on darker skin tones though. I think it looks cool. I do like how these are thinner than the other box blushes they used to ha <clears throat> have. My throat is doing weird things. Like it's like half the depth. Okay, before I powder, I'm just going to like moisturize my lips slash plump them a bit. I've got this new Huda Beauty IC. I've got the spicy one as well, I think it's called. But it's basically like a smoothing, plumping, injection-free lip enhancer. Cryo Plump Complex for instant freshness and plump feel. Ooh, I love the packaging. That's so cool. My lips are like dry. Mm. What's that smell like? Some kind of like a lolly or candy that I've smelt before. I don't know. Oh my god, it's literally blue. You guys tell me if you think my lips look bigger or more plump. I wasn't expecting it to literally be blue. Whoa, I can feel it. Okay. It feels just like a normal lip plumper so far. Just like kind of tingly and funny feeling. I'm just going to use one of my holy grails today. My Dior Backstage Powder No Powder in 2 Neutral. Look at the difference between that side and that side. Hold on, let me just do one side of my face. This powder is literally iconic. Okay, 
Can you see the difference? Like around my nose, like, oh, it's so smooth. I just love this powder so much. Like that side, you can see more texture. This side, flawless. I'm just using it with an XO Beauty powder brush. Doing a small amount of it, just kind of tapping a little bit over that blush just to kind of set it. And it's so sheer that it's not gonna like, you know, dull the blush too much, but just to kind of help with that texture because it does show a bit of texture since it's like a balm. For this look, I'm not really doing eyeshadow. I'm just going to do like a smooth looking eye. So I'm going to take the same powder, but this shade is for neutral. It's kind of like my bronzer shade. And I'm literally just going to use this all over the eyelid and just buff it in. Just to smooth and like even out the skin tone a little bit more without adding too much color. It'll add a little bit of bronze, but nothing too crazy. You know what? I may as well show you the last pair of the full volume lashes. These are in Captivate and they're like the shorter kind of style, but super curly and thick and dramatic. And I'll just show you how they kind of look with like no eye makeup, if you know what I mean. So first we need to put on some mascara. So this is a Betty Lashes by Ofra. It's actually a little like care system where it's got like a serum and stuff in it so you get three steps you have a conditioning primer which is this one here we'll try it and then you have a mascara it has biokeratin in it so yep and then step three is a lash growth serum so before bed when you've got like clean no makeup on um you just apply this like a eyelash serum oh and it comes in like a mascara form which is interesting usually they come in an eyeliner form so step one the primer is white oh my god throwback i haven't seen one of these in ages i can definitely see it in real life i'm not sure if it'll show up on camera it doesn't feel too thick and gluggy which is good the mascara looks very like moussey and like kind of dry looking Oh, it applies so good though, look at that. Keeping in mind, I don't actually need to have very good mascara right now since we're about to use some falsies, but I just wanted to try some more new stuff today. I like that. Just measuring up the lash. I think that looked pretty good. Now I'm using my clear XO Beauty Lash Glue. Letting that set for like 10 seconds or so. And then using my lash tweezer to wiggle it into the lash band, or lash line, sorry, my natural lash line. Ta-da! So curly. They look so pretty. I really want white eyeliner. Do I even own white eyeliner? I have a Colourpop one in the shade Exit. I always do nude, but I just felt like doing something different today. I'm just going to pile on more mascara on my lower lashes. And then flicking through some of my Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Taupe by MAC. I feel like we need darker brows right now. You see like the subtle difference? Just adds a little bit more structure. Okay, so is there anything else? We need to do lips, right? What do we do on our lips? We've got the gloss strips by Kylie. Oh, we've got a lip contour by Huda Beauty right here. I might pop some of this on. Why not? This is the lip contour 2.0 in pinky brown. I literally cannot get this MF as stupid ass box. It's like so tight and I can't rip it ah. <laughs> the stick is all over it and i can't get into it okay scissors like, you're so hard to break into for what oh my god and now the lid's stuck in the box don't you love that i'm being so dramatic right now but seriously it's just like the type of thing that just grinds my gears it's so far down <laughs> so annoying literally like for what reason is this so difficult come on Okay, that was so much harder than it ever needed to be. I'm just gonna remove some of this. It tastes kind of weird. The lips feel more hydrated at least. It feels like spicier now that I've removed it. My lips are like so flushed from all the stinging and just outlining. I just love how people are tagging me in potato TikToks now, by the way, after my last video. <laughs> all right, just doing something like that to start with because I have no idea what the pigment or anything is like on these glosses. Not really looked at like anything to do with them apart from the campaign images like i said that i was inspired by this looks like nothing like kylie's at this point though so let's be real oh the packaging's cute so these are the gloss drips lip glosses this doesn't match my energy i did read that these were supposed to be non-sticky and stuff which thank god because i don't like sticky glosses i'm actually just gonna look at the like, little campaign i just pulled it out of the friggin recycling here we go so 
match my energy is clear. I think we're gonna go for underestimated maybe. I don't wanna like squeeze them all out to see the colors because if I don't want it, you know, it's wasted. I may as well pop it in a giveaway or something, you know? Non sticky, leaves lips feeling soft, mirror shine finish and vanilla scent. Sounds gorge. Love the packaging, I love it. It's very like 80s, I don't know, is that 80s? Anyway, it's just a little squeeze tube. I mean, it's almost sheer, right? Like it's almost clear. Putting on a decent amount. I still think it looks really cute. I probably could have put more lip liner underneath. Oh my God, I'm getting like, you know when you talk and it all sticks? I don't like that. Literally, I like started filming this video once, or I filmed this video once. And I didn't upload it, I didn't edit it because I had like this piece of spit that was doing this like while I talked and I just couldn't stand looking at it. I was like no, I'm, I just can't. I guess the lips look quite like Y2K, like the hard out outline look. And then to finish off I'm going to use some of this Milani Supercharged Facial Mist. I love like the primer and the eye corrector in this range and they smell so good so I'm hoping this smells good. See how easy that was to unwrap? Love it. So it's just like a hydrating mist. It's not necessarily like a setting mist or anything for makeup, but I'm just gonna use it like one. It's ginseng and citrus. Mmm, oh, that smells so good. Hopefully it does nothing weird to my base, but I'm hoping it just kind of sets it, you know, like just dissolves all those powders that are sitting on the surface. Which there's not many because that powder is not powdery, um, but you get the idea. Okay, I actually kind of love this look. Like it's very much like 90s slash Y2K. What do you guys think? I'm a fan. Yay. All right, well, that's my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any like new makeup lines that you want me to review. Is there anything at Mecca or Sephora I should be picking up to try for you guys? I try to keep an eye out, like that's why I got that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but I don't know what you guys want to see. Are there any brands that you guys are like dying to see on my channel? Um, let me know. And yeah, I'll do that for you. So yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this. Okay. I like the way the gloss looks, so I don't like this. Look at that. I'll just remove a little bit. Now I've got cotton. Oh my god, and I've had pepper on my tooth this whole video. Well, that's just one good way to piss me off. Oh well, my gosh, I need to do my hair. Look how dark it is at the top. Okay, anyway, I need to stop babbling. Thank you guys so much. They said it's not sticky, but I find it a bit sticky. Just gonna say it. Anyways, bye. <laughs>